much anticipated award ceremony starting with a brief video. Welcome again to the Telecom Review Excellence Award Dinner. Tonight, we will enjoy our gala dinner together, along with recognizing the leaders in our industry with special awards. This year, the Telecom Review Award Program had a very high interest level from the industry, with a record number of nominations from around the world. The awards continue to be the standard for which the industry judges its peers. The Telecom Review panel of judges are leading experts from around the world and spent quite a bit of time deliberating on the winners. After all the awards have been presented, we ask that all the winners remain for group photos. Now we will begin the award ceremony. The first award category is for Best Digital Transformation Provider. They worked with organizational leaders to innovate around services covering many 4IR technologies such as 5G, artificial intelligence, big data, cloud computing, the Internet of Things, and more. And this year's winner is Huawei. Accepting the award will be Accepting the award will be Shun Li Wang, Vice President of Middle East. Best Customer Service Provider for Operators. With the ability to keep their customers and employees safe, connected, and supported during this difficult COVID time, their core services to enable communication to connect people places and things across the globe became even more important during the pandemic. This year's winner is Verizon Partner Solutions. Accepting the award will be Tony Kelly. and rewards program. Their service was built with the theme of enhancing customer happiness, offering tons of deals and rewards every day to customers. The service was launched initially only for their consumers, but given the popularity and demand among UAE citizens, residents, and visitors, the service is open to everyone as an OTT tool. And uh, this year's winner is the Etisalat Smile application. Accepting the award will be Mr. Khalid Al Khouli, Chief Consumer Officer. Best Cloud Provider. Their digital BSS is configurable and enables fast time to market while offering a rich digital experience. Their customers can provide a personalized, best-in-class customer engagement across all channels. This year's winner is Netcracker. of 
innovative product service for vendor. They efficiently pivot setup and unify operations for all subsidiaries to reduce costs. As part of an engagement, they deploy a cost-effective, personalized, and cloud-based wholesale solution supported and enabled through company's digital wholesale software as a service. This year's winner is CSG. Accepting the award will be James Kirby, head of EMEA. operator. They provide diversified communication services to the world's leading media companies, fixed and wireless operators, telecommunications operators, and multinational corporations. This year's winner is Intelsat. And accepting the award, he may not be here yet, we'll see. Is uh, going to be Samra is not here. We'll hold it for him. Give him another round of applause, please. operator. They are the most integrated wholesale carrier in the Middle East, offering a full portfolio of premium services, including voice, data, roaming, mobile services, messaging, satellite, Cloud Connect, DID Voice, IPX, and more. This year's winner is Etisalat. Accepting the award will be Mr. Ali Amiri, Group Chief Carrier and Wholesale Officer. Best African Wholesale Operator. Their Pan-African Fiber Network now stretches 100,000 kilometer, making them the largest independent network provider, not only in Africa, but, but other emerging markets. This year's winner is Liquid Intelligent Technology. Accepting the award will be Mohamed Basit, CEO of the Middle East and West Africa. A reminder for all winners, we kindly ask you to please not to leave, as we will take a group photo at the end. And now, best Asian wholesale operator. <laughs> Their continued investment and innovation in extending its network resources gives customers huge network capacity, connecting Asia, Belt and Road region, and the rest of the world, all the while growing the digital transformation of the region. And the winner is China Mobile International. Accepting the award will be Colin Wong, Managing Director of Middle East and Africa. Best 
North American wholesale operator. They are ranked 20 on the Fortune 500. They are the first in the world to offer 5G network edge computing with AWS Wavelength. Their global private IP network is one of the largest and most reliable private IP networks in the world. This year's winner is Verizon Partner Solutions. Accepting the award will be Tony Kelly. Best Global Operator. Over the past 12 months, their focus on innovation through automation has fundamentally transformed the very nature of their existing connectivity and network businesses. This year's winner is PCCW Global. Accepting the award will be Samar Sape. Middle Eastern operator. They are the only Middle Eastern telecom brand to be among the world's top 20 telecom brands and the first Middle Eastern group to break the $10 billion barrier in terms of widest portfolio value. The winner is Etisalat. Accepting the award will be engineer Hatim Dawadar. CEO of Etisala Group. Best industry vendor. They recently launched their new range of airscale 5G products covering baseband, remote radio heads, and massive MIMO active antennas with digital beamforming. This year's winner is Nokia. Now accepting the award will be Joachim Wulmet, head of Middle East Asia Marketing. MEA Marketing. There he is. Best 5G innovation for vendor. They support operators in providing 5G fixed wireless access services for an impressive number of households. Also, 5G leased lines has been provided to a large number of SMEs to help them reduce costs and improve efficiency. This year's winner is Huawei. John Ahn, president of Carrier Network Business Group, Middle East. Congratulations. Best Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative. For several years, they have supported African governments in their digital transformation to improve the economic development the relationship with public services and social inclusion. This year's winner is Sofricom. Now accepting the award will be Elias Saab, who's the Chief Commercial Officer. Infrastructure Fiber Deployment. They were the partner of choice in one of the largest African countries with the aim to develop the telecommunications infrastructure of the country. This year's winner is Benya Group. Accepting the award will be engineer Mohamed Mohamed Meke.
best 5G infrastructure deployment. They became the first operator in the region to launch a true 5G network in May 2018, deploying the first 5G enterprise solution at Expo 2020 Center. Commercial 5G devices availability became a reality in July 2019, followed by use cases such as security surveillance on moving vehicles. This year's winner is Etisalat. Next, accepting the awards will be engineer Hatim Dalwedar, CEO Etisalat Group. Best Carrier Enterprise Services. Tackling these challenges head on, they have developed the world's first platform for software-defined interconnection, which is a game changer for business, making the process of connecting to cloud-based, business-critical applications and geographically distributed offices, partners, and clients simple, predictable, and secure. This year's winner is PCCW Global. Accepting the award is Summer Sope. Most creative enhanced service provider. They advanced their strategy to provide specialized private equity market support by assisting clients in identifying, evaluating, and closing its successful development round funding with well-respected U.S.-based investment banks. This year's winner is AP Telecom. Accepting the award is Mr. Eric Handa. Again, we kindly remind all winners not to leave as we will take a group photo at the end. And now we move to the fastest corporate growth. In less than four years, they have successfully developed from a small team to an operational company and are now moving toward a neutral pan-African network. This year's winner is MTN Global Connect. Accepting the award uh, will be Frederick Chapins. Most innovative employer. As rapidly converging technology trends, and mass digitization, spurred by global pandemic, accelerate companies' innovation agendas, talent is becoming a vital yardstick for future-proofing. They have achieved this goal. This year's winner is TELUS. Accepting the award will be Samer Jaisal. Fastest broadband deployment. They have deployed 600,000 household connectivity for FTTH in three years in 28 cities with on-time delivery. The network was enabled from the start for a gigabit service for customers. This year's winner is Integrated Dawiyat. Accepting the award is Dr. Ahmad Abbas Sindi. Best Telecom Brand. They strategically ensure that all their customers and the wider public are exposed regularly and dominantly 
through various communication and interactive means. This year's winner is... Zaini Group. Accepting the award is Mr. Warid Al Khashti, Chief Communication Officer of Zain Kuwait. For the best 5G user growth, despite being an exceptional year in terms of unprecedented challenges in the wake of COVID-19, 2020 saw them reach new heights in the Saudi telecommunications sector by establishing itself as the largest provider of the 5G network and extending the best 5G services across all the kingdom. This year's winner is Zayn KSA. Accepting the award will be their CEO, Engineer Abdul Rahman Al Mufaddo. Most innovative product service for operators. Despite fierce competition and the growing adverse global trends facing businesses, they were able to maintain growth thanks to their agility in finding successful strategies in digital innovation initiatives, having undertaken a series of pioneering projects throughout the year. This year's winner is also Zain KSA and Zain Yakut. Accepting the award will be again uh, their CEO, Engineer Abdul Rahman Al Mufaddo. For the Leader Merit Awards, I invite Mr. Tony Ait to start the round. The CEO of the Year for Infrastructure Initiative Operator. He leads a company that is a digital pan-African wholesale and infrastructure services company and an operating company in a larger group. His belief is that everyone deserves the benefits of a modern connected world. The winner for this year is Frederic Chapin. CEO of the Year, African Mobile Telecom Operator. He leads the third mobile operator to enter the market and has become one of the largest networks in the market, quickly attracting an excess of over a million subscribers. The winner is CEO of Salat Masr, Hazim Mitwali. CEO of the Year Vendor. He works with both regional and global ICT ecosystem partners on a vision to bring digital to every person, home, and organization for a fully connected, intelligent world. This includes innovations in 5G, cloud, and talent development. The best telecom leader for the vendor category is Mr. Stephen Yee from Huawei. CEO of Huawei Middle East and Africa. CEO 
of the Year Best Project Achievement. He has made immeasurable contributions to the digital transformation of Egypt and the MENA region in the past 24 years through his numerous leadership positions in renowned international institutions. Throughout his career, he facilitated and implemented mega-scale projects by establishing international alliances between key industry players. And the winner for this category for this year is Ahmad Maki, CEO of Binya. Last but not least, Executive of the Year Global. His leadership of his company and its growth is truly exemplary, and he continues to take the company to higher levels. In addition, he also has contributed to the growth and transformation of the industry at an international level with contribution to Global Leaders Forum and MEF, among others. Thank you for listening. This is the last award for tonight. And this is a global leader for tonight. So give me your attention. The winner for this year, for the global leader executive, is Mark Hapfinger, CEO of PCW Global. <laughs>